everybody? It's Melissa. How's everybody doing tonight? It's tonight where I'm at, so therefore I say tonight, tonight, tonight. I'm doing all right. It's the second video I'm trying to film tonight. I've been trying to get a couple out because I haven't been able to record in so many days now, and I wanted to do some to get out through the week, and my dogs just aren't cooperating. They're being wild. Teeny tiny little wildebeest. So... I've been yelling at them, so hopefully now they'll be quiet. <laughs> and this may be a little crooked. I've been trying to adjust, but I think you can see the main stuff to see. I was going through my videos, and I realized I have not really given you guys a flip through of this beautiful baby since I got it. So you don't know what my setup looks like or anything. And this is the one I use the most. This is the one that keeps the vast majority of my information. So it's the most important one. And definitely one of the most pretty and squishy. It's a Vanderspeck B6. This is in, I forget about the, how you say it, but it's gray, basically. And it's got Parme pink on the inside. So perfect color combination. Perfect. So, and so I just put my pink Ollie clip right there. Matte one. So here she is. Let's hurry up and get this done before the dogs go insane again. All right. This is in, I'm filming this at night, so the lighting's not the best. I've actually got the light. I don't have my ring light up, so I've just got the light from the um, iPad shining on it. So hopefully it won't be too bad. I'm hoping the color, I'm already looking at it right now, and the color seems a bit darker than what it actually is. So... Anyway, all Eclipse galore. I said in my last video, I just ordered, um, I've ordered a large one like this and then a pack of the small ones they had. They have the most beautiful colors right now. You guys really need to go check them out. They're, they're new, they're brand new, they're pre-order, so you'll have to wait to get them. But I think they'll be worth the wait because they're beautiful. So, and in the meantime, I got my little all clip collection that I have going on, I can use. It's, I, I use it sometimes for good things, but I can, I actually use the small ones. They're more, um, to me, they're more useful as far as holding pages and things together. Sometimes the larger ones are just a little bit too large, but they make gorgeous decoration. And my favorite, favorite, favorite thing about them is they hold, hold deco in place. If I sound a little stopped up, I am. Baby girl gave me a cold. But anyway, they, um... They hold the deco in place so much better than paper clips do. So that's what I've been using them for. First off, of course, we have the calendar. And then we have to get through my Mondo amounts of um, deco. Because I just can't stop making the deco. I just, I can't. This came from... Michael's, it's just regular vellum. I got them cut down. But these, I made all these. And how pretty does that go together? I actually have the same ones in my A6 Fender Spec as well because I like it so much. And then Melissa. This one's all so important. Give yourself grace. That's a reminder to myself. It should also be a reminder to all you other ladies who struggle. Give yourself a little grace. Another one I made. This came out of Kiki K, one of my little ones. And then cloth and paper are my monthly and weekly inserts that I have in here. I also have dailies, but I, um, I have been using those for the past few days. I mostly use my dailies to actually track stuff and I have a tracker. So, cause I mostly write out my daily plans in an A6. Sometimes I do it in my B6, but mm, usually the A6 is easier to carry throughout the house and on the go and all that fun stuff. My 2022 I made. And I put a lot of my, okay, this is a B6 remember. I put a lot of my personal wide stuff in here as well. So it's got a little bit of both. And cloth and paper, I you know, when I ordered their B sets, I thought it looked a little bit small and it really they really are small. 
And I think it's because they use the measurements for like a B6 Stalogy rather than a B6 ring planner because B6 ring planners are a bit larger. So I think that's why they're a little bit small. So next year, I don't know if I'll use cloth and paper for the B6 anyway. I may find, I may use like a PT paper that I like so much or um, Deer Planner. I like them, if in the Lotus. One of those and another little pretty I made. There's my initial on it. Another one I made. Another one I made. And this is that vellum that's really thick. So... They actually have some that's thicker, and I I, haven't, I don't find it. This is, uh, see, oh my gosh, I think it's five. Maybe they don't. Maybe this is a thicker one they have, but I love it because it's so much more durable than just the really you know, thin stuff that we usually get. Love that so much. And then, oh my sloppy plans. Nothing more a lot better than see a filled up planner just because I know how much fun I actually had you know, filling it up. <laughs> Just love it. Love it, love it. Yet another one I made. And then, of course, going into May. So many birthdays in May. It's ridiculous. Most of all, my baby girl will be turning two. I'm going to have a two-year-old baby girl. And before Christmas of this year, we're going to have a brand new baby. So, we're pretty, we're pretty stoked. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty excited about all of that. And as you can see, I decorate just straight through. I'll just sit down and just throw stickers down. And I don't care if it take, you know, I do the whole month ahead of time or not. So anyway, I keep three months at a time in here. So I only got through June. So currently, these are some little uh, inserts that I made. And they're just kind of weekly reflection. Well, what it says, weekly reflection. You know, kind of like the kind of stuff you'll see with Happy Planner and things like that. And this vellum come from Michael's. I didn't make that one. Daily stuff. And this is the current daily. This is not the you know, cloth and paper, but this is a, just one that I printed out that I'm using if I put anything in it. I use like 50 different kinds of paper for this, but I just like it. It's very simplistic. That's a better look because this one is actually for the B6 size and this one I printed out for the personal wide so it doesn't fit quite as well. And then I also have some of these. I made that one. I made that one. And I guess the only other kinds I have in here right now. No, no, we're not doing that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Okay, so a pre another pretty vellum. I thought this looked a little bit more springy. Hey, you guys, you won't get any popcorn if you don't stop. Uh-uh, no. Look what you're doing. I have three teeny tiny bees that each weigh under 10 pounds just wreak havoc. It's the same way my teeny tiny little toddler does. Okay, so this is a, a kind of a weekly appointment. That's whatever I want to use it for. It could even be like a... um. A weekly overview. I made, uh -huh. This I made. <laughs> Speaking of wee little pups. Come here. Come here. Oh, pick up the barker again. This I found and it looks very much like my little Jojo that passed away uh, last November. He was my little chihuahua. I've had him since he was five weeks old. He was... um. Oh my gosh, I think he was 14. I had hoped to have had him a lot longer, but he developed congestive heart failure. And it, once it really started getting bad, it got bad quick. And we lost him. And my puppies are always in my heart, all of them. But yeah, that's why I used to call him Wee Man. He was my little Wee Man. He was the head of the household. So, you know, that's my little boy. I had his own. We saw that I got his little angel wings up there. Okay, there's another vellum. Now this I've got. Okay, 
I think this one comes from Planner Press. Planner Press, as is the vellum. This is a true B set size. You see how far it comes out? That is a true B set. That is the size B set is supposed to be. This is a um, personal wide. You see the difference? See how much more room you got with the B sets and the personal wide? And the inserts for B sets that I got from uh, cloth and paper are just a tad smidge bigger than this one, not near as big as this. So um, that's some stuff I just made and threw it in there. I was just playing around the other night. I was bored. That happens with me. Another vellum I made. Online order section. And this is just inspiration. Um, I had a place in my um, other planner where I'm hoping, I said this in my last video, but I'm hoping to start um, a massive remodel of my house this year. Hoping. And... Uh, so I've been getting ideas of what exactly I want um, rooms to look like. And I've just been putting them in collages and printing them out, sticking them in here. I'm going to have to make them bigger, though. Definitely bigger. Because number one, they're too small for this binder. And number two, they're too small for my eyeballs to see them as clearly. <laughs> so, you know, I got to... I, I love that, you know, what I... Last um, summer when I did the refresh of my kitchen, you know, I painted my cabinets and everything. Now I'm planning to rip them all out. I redid everything in that farmhouse motif that so many people are using because it's just so cozy looking. I like it so much. And then these are a lot of the things that I want to have done in the house. This is my planner wish list. And you know, guys know how that goes. That's a never ending deal with me. Um... Self-care, I haven't really filled that out, but, you know, it's, you know, I made it where if you want to, you can, like, do it on a daily basis. I've got so many gratitude journals and everything I use. I don't need to do that on a daily basis. And this is a uh, personal side. This is my wellness health section is what this is. Personal wellness health, all of that goes in here. And there's my favorite little vellum right there. I got this one from also from Planner Press, and it's celebrate every win, even if it's getting out of bed in the morning. That's a major win for me because rarely do I get out of bed in the morning. <laughs> it's usually closer to the afternoon. So, hey, come here. All right. And so this is my medical information. That is a vellum I made. Very simplistic. I thought it was very pretty. And then I just have trackers. So I use three kinds of trackers. Or th I track basically three things. So I say, this is my um, mood tracker. And then the next page, I've got my pain um, tracker, my fatigue levels, and then my habits, making sure I take my meds on time, scripts writing, planning, and filming. So that's how I track. Another cute little vellum. And let's see, I'm trying to see when I have to stop. Yeah, this is pretty much, so just that, contentment. Then I have all my personal stuff there. I'll flip that over. Um, this is what I'm using to write down doctor visits and things. I have these all over the place, though. I have my Erin Condren Wellness Planner. Um, and it's actually a health planner, so you can write down all your doctor's visits and everything in it. So that's the one I'm keeping all in a, a safe, same place. Um, so that I know that's the catch-all of all that stuff. It's got everything in it. And so that's what I've started using now more than anything else. But... <clears throat> I do still keep these. I keep them in both in this planner and in my A sets. So let's see what else. My B Brave dashboard. Okay, some paycheck stuff. So my financial information. Let's see. Right here. So just got 
um, a month's worth of paychecks if you want to do it that way, which is how I do it. So it has four on one page. So if you want to, you can use like, I use it for the whole month. So I'll use um, the main stuff here and then I'll bring it on down for any additional stuff that might happen that we need money for, how much we need and the same here. Uh, but it's meant to be used as four. And I'm sorry if you don't have any more bills and expenses than that. You are my hero. Because I have more. I have much more than that. So these are the bigger ones. This was for a personal size. And I had made some also for my, um, this one. And that's sad. I can't even close it. Okay, so there's those. And then... That's pretty much the ending. Last little pretties there. <laughs> Come on, baby. You can do it. I know you can. Try not to terrorize my rings too much. But anyway, and then just my little deco. Not much. I have some stickers, some dots, and stuff like that in there. And that's pretty much all she wrote. I have my little Tombow that I am enjoying. Have that tomboy that tombow there and one of my Sarasa dry pens again that I just clip right into the, the flap right there, snap cover. And she's all good. What is awesome about this planner, and honestly, I've never had any of my other planners do it as well as this one. Don't know why this is different, but even though I've got it stuffed like that, when I go to close it, I don't have to straighten it out. She straightens herself out. She's extra smart. She is smart. And see, you can see how squishy she is. She is. That's why I had the, the really, um, I told them to put a little bit extra sponge in there, you know, stuffing wise. Because it just, I mean, it just gives it a squish factor. It adds a little bit of structure, but not too much. It's just like it's the Goldilocks, in my opinion, anyway. Um, the next one I'm getting, hopefully by next month, she'll be able to be ready to come to me as a, uh, it's this beautiful color of a, it's like a spring green and I didn't you know do one color outside one color inside I had it, the whole thing done in that one and same setup um, nothing different from this one except the color and it's a personal wide rather than a B6 so hopefully we'll be seeing her soon all right okay guys I hope that little chit chat and that little flip through helped you pass some time. I appreciate you sharing it with me and I will see you next time. See you later. Bye.